Hello, well, is uh, Boris Toast. <laughs> There's uh, a leadership election just announced for today. Hey, look, these are difficult times for any elected politicians under the economic circumstances that we're in, and all leading politicians always get blamed for it, irrespective of uh, how much they are to blame. And, of course, the whole business with the Sue Gray report and the lying and all this business, a lot of people think he's finished. Uh, others say, no, no, he's, a, he, he's been through this before, no problem. So uh, what are the arguments? What are people saying? Well, look, uh, those who say that he's toast, that he is finished, they, they say he's just simply going to lose because he's just such an abject failure. Uh, he, he's just done a terrible job. He's a proven liar in our culture. That, that's really unacceptable. It's more or less like Trump. Uh, in Britain, you just can't keep lying and get away with it. The first question that was asked of Mr. Johnson uh, one, on a mum's net thing is, why should we believe anything you say when you're proven to be a habitual liar? <laughs> and his answer was just incoherent. One MP said, trust matters and standards in public life go to the heart of maintaining it. Uh, without it, the whole house of cards is at risk of collapse. We have so much to be getting on with a massive task at hand to level up, support Ukraine to victory help people with the cost of living. This is all a very sorry distraction to that. So what she was saying is that the whole business of the Sue Gray report and the proven lying about the party makes him just a really kind of a slug. We should get rid of him. But what about those who say no, no? Well, first of all, it would be a gift to Putin to get rid of him because it would put the nation in turmoil at a time that it has to be uh, banding together with its fellow members of the West. Furthermore, there's no real plausible successor. Liz Trust is in great difficulty because uh, she has the unlucky <laughs> fortune to be in charge of Brexit right now, as well as Foreign Secretary, and that's a poison chalice. Rishi was a real contender until uh, we found out about his wife's tax arrangements, and then we got a little bit more into how rich he is, uh, <laughs> and uh, people don't like really rich people, do we? <laughs> uh, and furthermore, uh, The Economist says uh, uh, he's going to win anyway, and The Economist is always worth listening to. Well, what's, what's my take on all of this? I, uh, I think he's toast, but not today. <laughs> uh, my reasoning is that, that he deserves to be out. He, he is... Uh, I'm afraid uh, he has lost the moral leadership uh, battle, if there ever was one. He just doesn't have it. He has uh, a rowdy bunch of fighting, drinking, uh, badly behaving MPs uh, in the parliamentary Tory party. Uh, how awful is that? So you can't really put up with that kind of thing and that kind of leadership. But I would say that we should probably... Uh, wait until the war in the Ukraine is more or less over because we don't want to spread disarray among the, uh, the leaders of the West on this critically important issue. That's my take. I uh, hope you liked it. And by the way, there's a couple of other videos on this general subject that you might like.